it's kind of worked out to be a good paint table. I had some small parts to paint. You gotta do some repairs to that oil pan anyway, but uh, yeah. Anyway, there you guys go. This is Sunday, just a few hours before the live show. And I haven't done anything yet. I still got plug wires to go. Uh, the lower block water drain holes to plug. And uh, we're getting ready to prime the oiling system right now. And the night of the live show here that I done this, I probably hadn't done the break in because it's that's just too long to do the break in on camera, and that's too much fumes for me. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to we're going to run it on the live show. We're going to bring it to life on the live show. Well, by the time you see this, that will have have happened. And uh, but right now we're just going to prime the oil and uh, see what kind of oil pressure this thing uh, produces so I got the oil filter on, the oil filter adapter all the holes plugged uh, Mama Bear replaced their valve cover holders since I let the other ones go with the 383 so yes the 383 is gone but we got plenty here to build another 383 with so anyway I want to uh, set you guys up and we'll because there's the drill. I haven't done nothing. The oil filter's empty. We're going to prime her up and get her ready to drop the distributor in. And then i got to find plug wires to run on this thing. So I uh, want to continue to get it ready for the live show. So, But I'm going to have a video version of the full break-in and everything as it goes with this. So, And you'll see part of the live show in this too because I'll record some of the live show tonight so if you guys start seeing deja vu uh, you're going to see it <laughs> so alright alright there you guys go now you'll watch you'll see the oil pressure will not come up right away because it, oh, a second I got the wrong socket okay it says record now I got the right socket so Five pounds with a drill. That's pretty perspectable. Perspectable. down in the valve cover. Val the heads were dry so Let's see if we got oil running through and it does look like we have that. Let's see. Oh yeah we got oil running through already. So there. Everything's pumped up. No oil leaks. At any of the galley plugs or anything, oil line. All right. Well, what I'm going to do then is prime this a little longer, just to make sure everything's good and primed up. And then we're going to get the distributor set. I think I just thought of a set of plug wires I've got, and uh, get this ready to start on the live show so I guess uh, there take that glare out <laughs> uh, well uh, get with it
got through the break in and then you see some dribbles I'm not sure where they come from but for the first time ever yeah I'm probably gonna lose a fingernail I don't know what I done but I've been very careful of this fan and uh, yeah I've got a chewed up finger it's kinda gone numb now but uh, no it's bit the freaking belt again I guess once you roll a belt you just will throw it away cuz it won't play nice but uh, so I gotta get a new belt and finish the break in we are almost done ready to start idling it down but like I said uh, for some reason she st started puking there uh, let's see what it got to oh yeah after I shut it off she climbed right up there oh, I can hear now oh see the lady over's gonna run hot no that's because we had to shut it off fast because the water yeah. pump stopped turning and prior to that it was running at 210 which that's don't afraid, uh, bug me because uh, I expect it to run a little closer to 200 now where's that oil coming from huh. all right see that's why I got this stand put them on here I was taking this motor down look at all the issues I would have had trying to come back so when, well that might be oil dripping from when that wasn't tight so oh well here's a flashlight let's see now well, everything's dry there well, maybe that's antifreeze that might be that might be a whole antifreeze because harmonic balancer's dry. So that might be a little antifreeze yet. Oh, nope, that's oil. There it is. So I'm going to have to take that plug out, change it because it is still leaking. Yep, I found it. It's, that little plug right there is giving me fits. Normally it don't. So... That's the reasoning behind the run stand. Oh! Get all the bugs and that out of it. Like I said, well, well, she's got a heat cycle on it now. I'll go get a new belt tomorrow. And uh, I think I got about six more minutes to run it at the RPM, then we can dial it down and all everything. But. Uh, yeah, that's where it is. So also, as you can see, the brown truck is now moved. It has working brakes. Um, let's see. Oh, that finger's really sore now. Got snowball hooked up to that for its test pole tomorrow. I'm gonna go get the tires changed on that trailer. Put some better ones on. And as you guys see, Roger's up, but yeah, we ended up putting new rotors and one new brake caliper set up on the back of the truck, and it's driving good. That tire better not be, now well, they all look soft right now. I have to check them, see where they're at. But yeah, nice mud. Needed to use four-wheel drive the last few days out here to get around. But yeah, so that's where we're at on the 80 over. So, yep, see, she's already cooling off. But yeah, that don't surprise me, as it was hot. And when they threw the belt, I just shut it off. But, uh, I don't know, I think my uh, gauge up there in the head was still dripping. I don't know. That's what I... Put my hand on the shroud like I've done thousands of times before, and next thing I heard is, oh, I'm like, oh, that smarted. So I guess I heard a thump. <laughs> you heard a thump. Oh, and there's Roger. <laughs> the long loss has showed up again. I guess we'll see. Oops. Pull that out of there. <laughs> Oh, anyway, yeah. So that's all loaded up, 
and I'm kind of figured out I've eliminated any troubles from the front of the truck to the back of the truck for the brake lights on that. For some reason, the power's not going to the brake fuse. I applied power to the brake fuse, brake lights work just like they're supposed to. So I either got a bad brake light switch or a multi-switch in that truck. Which, unfortunately, I might have to rig up a temporary uh, brake switch for the trip. Whether or not it's happening. Yeah, you guys are probably going, why are you getting rid of that cutlass? Well, that belongs to somebody else. The cutlass I'm bringing back is a brown cutlass. And uh, that's what the 80 over is going to go in. And... Uh, but with what's going on with Squirrel right now, I don't know. This trip may be something else. I, I It's not going to... Putting the motor in this trip, if I do get to go, may not happen. As I'll tell you right now, I'll be here and take care of Squirrel and be here for her surgery before I'll mess with any damn motor or car, car parts, anything. Uh... My kid will come first. All this stuff can sit. I don't care. So, I really don't care. But, so I'm going to take care of the family first and play second. So, yeah, what it might end up being is taking my buddy's car and all his personal belongings that have been left behind here for going on five, six months. I don't know. I've lost track. Getting them to the him and dragging the parts truck for snowball back that might be the only thing that happens this weekend and plus get the other engine parts i need for their motors that are here to finish them so when they go down they are a complete running tested motor that will not have any leaks or will not have any issues and the timing will be set in both motors for him so shouldn't even have to throw a timing light on them after we get them down there and install them but uh Yep. So, days like today is when I wish I had a concrete slab over here in front of the shop. And I could have started that outside and had let the mess be out here, but it is what it is. I was thinking if I wasn't going to rev that motor that high, that belt would stay, but no, nope, that one's been rolled too many times and that. So, anyway, everybody. And Squirrel thanks everybody too for all the well wishes and prayers and everything her way. She's taken the news of the surgery pretty good. Uh, Mom and Dad, hmm, I, I, I'd be, I can't kid you guys. I'm nervous. Um, trying not to be, but I'm still nervous because uh, she's too dang young for this kind of stuff. So anyway. I guess we'll see when I get out here tomorrow. I'll get that new belt on there and uh, I'll finish the break in and get that thing idled down. And it ain't going to hurt it to do one heat cycle like this and then get her together and run it again. I mean, uh, it was running 200, 210, so I don't know. You'll see. But and there may be more stuff coming up because somebody's contacted me about some stuff and. Yeah, we'll go from there. So anyway, I got to quit talking. See you guys later. Have a good one. Stay blessed. Stay safe.